Brazil, are you nuts? Who plays football at an international meeting? Well, how do you think I became a five-time champion? These were all international meetings. But you have to take off a hat inside in a decent society. This you should know. The sombrero is a part of my national culture. Oh, your national culture is tequila and burritos from a cactus. Do not stereotype me. The Aztec and Mayan civilizations are considered the oldest in the world. On my territory, people had lived another 15,000 years before our era, and my pyramids will be cooler than the Great Pyramids of Chaps. Yes, but the United States is still building a fence on the border to protect themselves from your civilization. It looks even more robust than the Great Wall of China. Actually, the southern border of the United States used to be mine. Ha! Mexicans have a good historical memory if they run there every day. There are probably more Mexicans in the States now than in their historical homeland. No, unfortunately. Only a fourth of us have managed to leave, and the rest are still sitting on their suitcases because of this fence. I'm waiting for everyone to move in, and then we'll get Texas and California back. And maybe I will have America all to myself. Dream, dream. You got tired of Americans laughing at your English accents, so uh, do you want to laugh at their Spanish now? Oh, look who's talking about accents. You have a terrible Spanish accent. I don't understand half the words. Well, maybe that's because I speak Portuguese with you. Oh, that's it. You're an outcast, I forgot. All of Latin America speaks Spanish. And you're the only one who decided to stand out. But when people hear Mexico, they hear crime. If I were a tourist, I would think three times whether it's safe to go on vacation to you or to Syria. You'd better look at me. Carnival, soccer, beaches. Your beaches? You can get robbed right on the beach by local pickpockets. Your favelas have a much higher crime rate than any Mexican drug cartel. Oh, so what? It doesn't stop my tourists. My carnival in Rio de Janeiro got into the Guinness Book of World Records. There were five million people there. And your most famous carnival, a procession of skeletons on the Day of the Dead, not every tourist will be delighted to see these skulls. Ugh. Who wants you if it wasn't for Rio and Sao Paulo. Or do you think tourists will enjoy being food for the mosquitoes and crocodiles in the Amazon jungle? No, I still have something to be proud of. I am the greatest football country on the planet! So what? My football fans are the most loyal. When you held the World Cup in 2014, many of my fans went to Rio by mopeds and even bikes. By the way, it's more than 11,000 kilometers. Oh, my fans destroyed half the country at the championship when we lost to the Germans in the semifinal. I even declared national mourning. <laughs> Why the mourning? I declare war. <laughs> oh, um, who are you anyway? This is Honduras. I know him. Hmm, strange name for a country. No, no, you don't understand Portuguese. In Spanish, it means death, as Christopher Columbus himself named me. <laughs> but sadly, you're both not very creative. Mexico, what's your city capital? <laughs> Mexico City. And Brazil. Yours? Brasilia! See, you have my imagination for like two syllables at most. But my capital's name is so avant-garde that even I can't pronounce its name. Ha! <laughs> it's Teguchi Golpa or something. <laughs> okay, our creative one. I understand everything about you. But what were you saying about the fan battles? Uh, no, I'm, I'm not talking about fan battles. Uh, when we lost to El Salvador for the playoffs, we immediately sent them tanks and planes. We fought for six days until the UN showed us the red card. <laughs> you started, started a, a war because, because you lost, lost at football? Well, yes. It even went down in history with the name the Football War. 
Only several hundred thousand Salvadorian soldiers were killed. Ha! Next time, they will think of whose gate to use to score. Ha! 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 Ah, look, Mexico, I take back everything I said about your drug cartels. Uh, apparently, your bandits aren't aggressive guys at all. And I take back mine about your favelas. Uh, nice citizens are living there, indeed. It seems that, uh... uh we are very friendly and safe countries, generally. Uh, let's be friends. Uh, let's have some tequila and I'll buy you a burrito. Uh, then we'll play football together. Oh, yes, 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 come. Uh, just don't tell Honduras. He, uh, he seems to take the football battle very literally and arranges a battlefield from the football field. Ugh.